we're going to do another workout today. I think based on previous workouts today, we are going to try to isolate our back, upper back and lower back. Ho, ho, ho. So some pulling with cat today. So first things first, I'll get you guys to warm up again. Try to incorporate any type of movement you would like to get your full body moving, get the blood flowing. So you can do a nice little jog. You can do your stairs again. You can do your crab walk because I'm using every single body part that I can. Or you can do your Spider-Man crawl, right? Do I look like Spider-Man? <laughs> That's actually very hard. A lot of muscle groups involved, but it gets you warm, it gets your joints moving. That's what we want. Everything moving, everything warm. So once you've done that, do five, 10 minutes, then go back to me and we'll get mobilized because we want to use our joints today as well as our muscles. So first things first, after you've warmed up, make sure you're actually warm, maybe a little sweat. That's a good, that's a good tell of how warm you are. We're gonna do some arm circles again, so big arm circles just to get those arms moving in through the shoulder, forwards, woo, and then backwards, and then again. Test your brain, make sure you're awake this morning. Do some opposite arm circles. Whoa, I can move. Okay, now that they're moving, I feel a little warmer. I did a little bit of warm up before I started, so I feel pretty good. But we're gonna come down to the floor again into our plank position. We did work on this on our pressing day. We're gonna work it today for our pulling because we wanna retract our shoulder blades. So in this plank position, again, I'm making sure I'm pelvic tilting, I'm retracting down and up through those shoulder blades, okay? Feeling that retraction just through there trying not to give through the elbows, okay? This one's still more of a warm up. We're trying to mobilize and move those shoulder blades, get a little bit of activation going before we do anything. So give me like 20 reps, three sets if you want. Simple shoulder blade retraction there, right? Just this movement, okay? Once you've done that, we're gonna do another activator with your broom. La, 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 la. La, la, la. I love this broom, it's so handy. Okay, so if you have troubles at all activating your lats, this is a fun one you can try. So using either your broom, a mop, whatever you got laying around, longer. If you've done any like lat pull down variation, this is gonna be the same kind of idea. You're trying to trigger your lats, okay? So I do overhand grip on our bar or our broom. <laughs> and then you're gonna set up a little bit wider grip. I kind of bring it in just so you're touching your hips. And I want you to add pressure, pushing and pulling that uh, broom into your hips, okay? So I'm not trying to rotate over through my traps. I'm trying to pull down and back, down through those lats, okay? just so you know that you can trigger your lats before we do anything today, because we're trying to activate upper and lower back, okay? So same thing, you can just hold this for 30 seconds if you want, right? You wanna feel that sensation pulling down through the lats, okay? Shoulder blades, you'll probably feel it up through the rear delt if you're really retracting back properly, but I just want you to push and pull that bar into your hips, squeeze your back, okay? We're just warming them up, okay? So give me like three sets of that. Hold it for 30 seconds. Really pull. If you're so strong, you bend the broom, you're doing it right. Use your lats though, not your traps. Okay, what is our first exercise for today? Oh, grab your broom. Don't put it away. Get it back here. Okay, we're gonna do a good morning. So if you have worked on a good morning before, this is generally a movement you will be doing a lot more weight bearing with. Today, if we don't have a lot of weights, I'm just gonna use the broom to show you what you're doing, okay? So a good morning. I have the weight bearing on my back like a back squat. There's other variations that I'll show you after. This is just for technique, okay? So why I'm starting with this is because I just wanna make sure I'm activating everything through my torso, okay? I'm not arching 
keeping that pelvis in a neutral position. Rib cage in, almost pulling your ribs into your belly button, activating that core, okay? Rotating through that hip like a hinge movement, keeping that brace, and back up, okay? We're hinging right over, and then I'm coming up and saying, good morning. <laughs> I think that's why it's called a good morning. I don't know. So we're just going to warm this movement up just so you get that rotation through your hips and you're keeping that nice static brace through your torso, okay? So this is going to be probably very easy with just your broom, right? There's not a lot of weight. If you have anything that's heavier lying around, utilize it, okay? Add some weight on your broom. If you have something heavier than a broom, use it. I'm assuming a lot of us will not, so you can do it also in the front. So, <laughs> I've got my lemon guard here. Has everybody been cleaning and sanitizing? I hope so. Me too. I actually took a bath in this before we started. But what I'm going to show you is a good morning with your weight in the front, almost like a front squat. Uh, if you've ever worked on a zercher squat where you're holding the weight in your elbows, same kind of idea with the weight. So you can use cleaning supplies. You can use just a heavy bag. You can use your dog, whatever you want. Hold it up in front, okay? Bracing your core. You're going to be hinging through those hips again you're gonna feel more tension on that lower back, okay? You are gonna feel a stretch down through the hamstrings and through the glutes. We're trying to keep that activation through your core and through your back, okay? Keeping that tension. Tight, tight, tight. And hinging up and through, okay? So same thing with the arms. You don't wanna be jacked up through the traps. Try to keep that tight tension down, okay? Shoulders are down. Pulling that in, using a bit of biceps to keep that weight close to me. Hinging through and back up. Okay, so those are a couple variations of good mornings. We are gonna put this weight over here. Oh, I'm gonna bring my chair over. What? Okay, so that was our first exercise, which was our good morning. Uh, depending on what you have laying around the house and you're gonna be using, work on a little bit more volume today, right? Because that is, generally you can load a lot more with that and we'll work on volume. So do like 15 reps with whichever you have laying around the house, you can feel that activation, okay? Next, we're gonna be working on a row. So I'm using this chair and I have my lemon guard again. <laughs> so depending on what you have laying around the house, use whichever you got. I'm gonna be showing you just a bent over row. Couple variations I use, or I use, I like to use uh, a little bit higher of a reach, like a chair. I know a lot of us tend to hinge over on a bench. I like to stay a little bit higher up just for this movement right now today. So bent over row, you wanna have again that hinge through the hips, bracing your core. We're not starting up a chainsaw. I'm bringing my back foot back because I am doing a single arm row. I don't want this leg in the way, okay? A lot of the time we don't focus on the arm that you're actually bearing weight on, but same thing, keep that shoulder retracted back, okay? I'm here, hip hinge, brace. I try to stay as square as I possibly can through my hips and my shoulders while I'm doing this movement, and then I'm gonna pull up and back through that lat, okay? You can lock the arm out, you can stay soft, keep the retraction back through the shoulder blades, okay? Nice easy row. So this is uh, quite high up for a row, so you're gonna hit different parts of your back with that. And that's when our variations come in. So I start high, you're gonna feel a little bit more on the lower back. If you can come over into any position where you're going to release a bit of tension off your back where you're either laying on the chair and doing the row. You can hinge over more and square up your hips and place your hand. You can brace a little bit more. You're a little bit more flat in your row, right? Right here. If I wanna put all the tension on my back, you can grab two weights and brace yourself, right? So if I'm hinging over and I have a weight in each hand, 
I can row simultaneously with two hands, both arms, with individual weights, or you can use, if you have a heavy broom, you can use that too. But these are just a few variations of rows that you can be working on. Essentially what I want you to be focusing on, because you probably won't have a lot of weight at home to be working with, is again, we want to be manipulating the muscles properly, making sure you're square up, you know what each joint and every muscle is actually doing in the movement. We're not just going through the motion, right? We're not just doing the chainsaw. I want you to make sure you're bracing your core. You know where your rib cage is at. You know how to breathe. There's a lot of, a lot of joints, a lot of muscles that actually utilize in a lot of these movements, so it's good to just be aware of what you should be doing, okay? So same thing. Let's do a little bit more volume. Give me 15 reps, about four sets of everything with that, okay? Next, ooh hoo hoo. So, if you have done any upper back days and you've worked on a lat pull down, right? So I'm just gonna show you with the broom, our lat pull down, same thing. Braced back, I got a bit of a hinge back if you were on a machine, but you're pulling down through the lats, right? If you have this range of motion that you can pull behind or in front, if you don't, you're probably gonna wanna be seated just to work on that maneuver. If we're confident in your mobility, I'm gonna get you to lay right on your stomach for me. Oh, I always get to lay down, this is great. <laughs> okay, so same idea. I want you almost in a Y position with your arms, okay? I'm gonna make sure I'm not fully relaxed through my torso. I'm gonna try and get that pelvis in as much of a neutral position as I can. Here, bracing my core, squeezing that rib cage into your belly button. And then I'm gonna get you guys to lift this up. Oh my goodness, this movement here alone will be difficult, okay? So you don't wanna be jacking those shoulders up. You wanna keep that rotation forward through the elbows, okay? In this position here. Okay, so squeezing tight. If you can, you can pull down in front of your face. So same thing. My elbows are just brushing above the ground. I don't want them up here. I want you to focus on keeping your hands and your elbows almost in line with each other, okay? The tighter I pull those elbows to the floor, the, the more you will feel your lats if you get that. Okay, so try it out, squeeze, tension through the lats, tension through my whole back, squeezing my core, same idea, I'm gonna come up. This is actually extremely difficult if you've never worked on it before, okay? And it really tests your mobility through your shoulders and activation through that lat, and also those rear delts. Coming up, if you can, bring it up higher, behind the head, okay? So if you have that mobility, try this one out, okay? This is really quite hard. So you're gonna feel through the lat, you're gonna feel through the rotators, but it's essentially mimicking that same range of motion as your overhead pull down, right? I'm pulling through the lat, except for you have to be way more active through the rotators and you're not pulling up through the traps. So you're gonna feel that through that whole midsection of your upper back, okay? So same idea, this one's a little bit harder. If you have the mobility, please try it out. 15 reps is probably gonna burn quite a bit. You can come in front, you can go posterior behind the head. All you're focusing on, elbow position with your hand, okay? If you can focus on that, Everything should work in conjunction together there. Just don't let it flare. You're trying to utilize those lats properly. Okay, you're trying to keep that tight tension through core while pulling down through the lats, okay? So you're gonna be doing that, stretching out, pulling back under chin or behind your head. 15 reps if you can. Try about three to four sets. Uh, it is a little bit more difficult. If we don't quite have that range, you can come up Work on this position here just so you can get that pelvic motion with your back. Anything overhead, it's good to work on your position with your pelvis. Get that involved a little bit more. Same thing, pull your elbows forward. Pull, pull, pull. 
through the lat and up if you can. Pull, pull, pull behind the head, okay? Try not to knock yourself in the head with this one. And up. Woo! Yeah, you're gonna feel a good burn there. So try that one out. I would love to see you guys try that and send it to me. Just if you have any critiques or anything I need to look at, throw me the video or throw me any questions too. But we have one more, a little bit more difficult exercise. <laughs> okay. I have my chairs. I hope you guys still have chairs. Me too. Okay. So, if any of you are familiar with gymnastics, men's gymnastics in particular, you might be familiar with this movement. But, if you have a hard time regarding any of these movements we've done, just activating your lats or doing it in general, I'll do this first. Okay. So putting your elbow here up on the chair, hopefully you have something where you can get that 90 degree angle. Keep that wrist directly above the elbow here. We don't want it forward, we don't want it backwards. I just want you to try to keep it as straight as you can on top of this chair. And I want you to pull directly down into that chair. No movement, very static. I'm just pulling down, activating through that lat. Right down here. You can do the same thing on the other side. A little bit more of an activator if you haven't done that. Because that's going to directly correlate to this exercise here. Okay? So, if you've ever heard of an iron cross, great for your back. <laughs> also great for your shoulders, but what we're going to be working on is kind of a lower grade of that. So, I'm going to keep my legs out in front. Hopefully you have the flexibility to do so. I want you to bring those chairs right in close to you and give me to just give me a 90 degree angle through the elbow, okay? Because what we're trying to do is you're going to be lifting yourself up just through that elbow, okay? We're getting that elevation there. It's the same kind of mechanics you would have in an iron cross, except for your arms are extended out and the weight's bearing on your hand. So, baby steps, awesome back workout. Keep the chairs in as close as you can to begin. And all you're going to be doing is pressing down to that chair and elevating your hips up. Okay? You can try holding that for about... It'd be awesome if you could do 30 seconds, but realistically we'll start with like 15 to 20. You want to push yourself, go for the full 30. Uh, again, that's the easier version. It's going to get harder and harder the further out that you move that chair and the straighter you move your arms. Okay? So, if I were to try here, same thing. I'm lifting myself up through my hips. Ooh. Uh, if you feel strong enough and confident enough, you can try right through the forearms and lift yourself up. It's going to be very hard. You're going to feel it through the rotators as well. So, that will be a variation of utilizing your body weight uh, to activate your lats, strengthen up your upper back there a bit. Something that you can do at home in the meantime when we aren't or we don't have access to a lot of the weights, right? Uh, gymnastics and body weight movements, stuff like that is very helpful in maintaining your strength. Uh, if we want to bring that back into the gym, we want to keep consistent with our strength, we want to utilize those muscle groups as much as we can while we're away. So when we come back to training, you're still in tip-top shape. So I'm going to throw these chairs away, put them right over here. Oh. Okay. So same thing, try both three or four sets of that. It is very hard, but try it out. I'd like you to try and like show me a video, seeing you guys try it out, just go for it. But those were our four exercises for today. More about lat activation, upper back, a bit more rotators as well. Uh, if you can engage that properly and then you're coming back and then you're, you're doing like Olympics, strong fit, powerlifting, anything, you have a little bit more connection with the muscle groups. So when you're coming into all of those bigger compound movements, it might be a little bit easier. Try it out and let me know. But that was it for today. If you have any questions, throw them at me. But it is Wednesday. That means we're going to be on for Saturday. And I'm just going to step it up to the biggest notch. And we're going to do some progressive exercises so you can do a handstand. What do we think about that? A handstand. I like handstands. So hope you enjoyed. And if you want to learn how to do a handstand, tune in on Saturday. Woo!
Bye.